What is going on? Welcome to Ape and Hodel. I am Forrest. Today we're going to be going over Kadena, KDA, and some on-chain analytics, development activity, social trends. Uh, this is not financial advice. Do not take any of the things that I'm saying and invest in cryptocurrency because of it. This is for entertainment educational purposes only. And uh, let's get right into this. Um, I'm not sponsored by Santiment or Kadena. They're not paying me in any way. I just found this uh, software that gives another aspect of analytics and insight into cryptocurrencies, and I really like it so far. Um, I'm just kind of using their uh, their free version right now, messing around with it. Um, and uh, we are at a dollar thirty four cents per KDA still in this bear market if you FOMO'd into KDA up in the $20 range. Uh, I feel I don't think I actually bought quite in the $20 range, but uh, I did uh, FOMO into this project uh, back here when we had this, uh, um, this massive surge back in November. We went all the way up to $26 here. And, uh, and then we've come all the way down to $1.34. Woo! But could be, could be an awesome buying opportunity if KDA delivers the way we all believe KDA can deliver and the Kadena ecosystem and the blockchain and the tech they're developing seems freaking sick. This video is not necessarily about that. This video is about development activity. Um, and, uh, Unfortunately, the development activity on Kadena is not very high, especially in comparison to the other layer ones such as Cardano and Ethereum and um, Solana. And uh, I actually did another video on those if you do want to see and I compare Solana to Cardano to Ethereum and Polkadot, their development activity. They've been having a lot of development activity. I did another video. You can check it out in the description. Um, but I did want to do a video on KDA because I am, uh, you know, I'm, I'm part of the community and I like the project and I do believe in it and I'm hoping it can deliver. However, there are some downsides to KDA. I think one of those is uh, possibly its tokenomics, its inflation rate. If you don't know about that, I did another video on that as well. You can check out. But let's look at the development activity here. This is in the past year. Uh, it hasn't really been going down, going up much. It's kind of been fluctuating here. But as of uh, what do we got here? The development activity is a nine as of October 11th, 2022. Uh, we can go up here and to look at its all time. It's interesting to see here that before it even launched, there was so much development activity. And uh, here we're up at 700, the peak peak 789 um, within a seven day interval. And I'm, to be honest, totally, I'm not completely sure why that is. Uh, but the price here, as you can see, when we rallied, it's not correlated to the development activity. However, if we go down here, I wanted to look at the social dominance, and it is relatively correlated. Um, where if you look here during this massive surge in price, we had a massive surge in social dominance. Um, and then here, but we also had these spikes in social dominance here. And here, uh, one in August, we had one back in May, and the price didn't necessarily surge the same way as uh, the um, social media presence of KDA and Kadena. Now, if we go to this other platform here, this is going to show you more specific social trends of uh, Kadena. And like if you look at here, that's Telegram, Reddit. Uh, there was, sir, you can see when we did have a bull run, of course, we did have a correlating surge. Um, however, if you look here, the uh, the community has stayed uh, consistently strong, I would say. It's about, you know, it's about half, it's about half of what it was during the, the big bull rally of Kadena. And if Kadena, when it can hit that all-time high, we'll see if it'll get there in the next bull run uh, or if that was kind of a crazy one-off thing because I think it's correlated to Solana's rally that people were looking for the next Solana and Kadena was toting this uh, really large transaction. Um, 
transaction amount. But you know, who knows exactly why these things do what they do, why the prices do what they do. There's a lot of different factors that go into that. Uh, but this program here, Santiment, uh, I really like it. It shows it has a bunch of different analytics. You can see different graphs here. This is showing you the Twitter, uh, the the Twitter trends, Twitter sentiment, um, and here we had this surge in Twitter activity back in April for Cadena, but the price didn't necessarily correlate with that. And we've basically just been declining into this bear market and Cadena being not in the top 100 right now. Cryptocurrencies, it seems like with altcoins, the sell-off just becomes greater and greater as you go deeper into the uh, deep end of the ocean and into the higher, higher risk assets. Uh, those all sold off more than say Ethereum or Bitcoin and such. Um, but I really like looking at development activity. I want to see more development activity on Cadena. Uh, if you have ideas what I'm missing, why there isn't more development on Cadena, let me know. I know that it's a, still a very new blockchain. Um, the, uh, the token didn't even release until uh, back in 2020. So it is still a very young blockchain and the tech does look awesome. Um, it is proof of work. Some people will bash it for being proof of work. Some people are gonna say that's why it's so great because it's decentralization, because of its uh, security, it doesn't have the same uh, risks that proof of stake has. Everybody's booming proof of stake. We have Ethereum merging. Uh, we have the Ethereum merge happening, moving that to proof of stake. We'll see how that actually ends up playing out, whether positive, negative uh, for the holders, for the network itself, um, you know. There's different reasons why there's pros and cons to these things, but uh, I know you're probably a Cadena fan. If you're watching this, you're probably a Cadena holder. I am a Cadena holder. Um, I have not been crazy buying through this bear market, but I have been picking up more KDA here and there, uh, kind of bringing down my dollar cost average. And I think there's huge, huge, huge upside uh, to this guy and, um, yeah, and I'm I'm looking forward to when, um, gosh, what is it called? Um, Marmalade. I'm definitely looking forward to when Marmalade finally launches and the potentials. It seems like they can do a lot of different things that NFT, other NFT uh, chains cannot do uh, because of the way Cadena is built and its coding language of Pact. And there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of cool things happening, but this is... Um, some development analytics and compared to social dominance and the price and yeah just wanted to share this information with you guys if you liked it if you didn't like it <laughs> hit the like or hit the down like leave your comments let me know subscribe to the channel help me out i am going to be giving away uh some solana tokens five solana tokens when i hit a thousand subs uh put in some videos don't put it in all my videos but i am still going to do that so if you want to be a potential winner for that just hit the sub button and uh yeah let's keep going surviving this bear market aping and hodling until we skyrocket up and we'll take some profits again um, or take some profits at all if you didn't take profits in the last bull run. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're thinking about KDA and Kadena if you're still bullish. Um, yeah, and check out that uh, tokenomics video I did talking about the inflation. That is interesting and kind of bearish, but woo.